It takes 248 Earth years for Pluto to complete one orbit around the Sun. Its orbital path doesn't lie in the same plane as the eight planets, but is inclined at an angle of 17 degrees. Its orbit is also more oval-shaped or elliptical than those of the planets. That means that sometimes Pluto is a lot nearer to the Sun than at other times. At times Pluto's orbit brings it closer to the Sun than Neptune. The last time this happened was from 1979 to 1999. It won't happen again until 2227. As Pluto moves closer to the Sun, ices on its surface warm slightly and sublime, evaporate from solid to gas, to form a thin, mostly nitrogen atmosphere. As it moves away from the Sun, the gases cool and refreeze. The atmosphere may vanish as Pluto moves farther from the Sun. Many Hubble Space Telescope images were combined to create these views of Pluto's surface. Distinct geologic features can be seen, but the colors may indicate different surface compositions. When compared with earlier observations, these images suggest Pluto's face may change through time, perhaps due to seasonal changes in surface ices. New Horizons is the first spacecraft to explore Pluto, its moons, and the icy bodies in the Cooper Belt. Its mission is to map the composition and surface features of Pluto and its moons, and to search for new moons and even rings. Along with providing our first close-up views of this distant world, New Horizons will also study Pluto's fascinating atmosphere. After it flies past Pluto, it may continue on to an encounter with a Cooper Belt object. 6. New Horizons is the first in the series of NASA's New Frontiers missions. This discovery essentially indicates that, while other planets often follow a rather circular orbit around the Sun, Pluto's is a bit more elliptical. It's surprising that even though they cross paths, they don't collide with each other. According to researchers, that's probably due to an orbital resonance condition dubbed mean motion resonance. Pluto's orbit possesses a stable 3-2 mean motion resonance with Neptune. This basically means that for every two orbits Pluto makes around the Sun, Neptune makes three, which prevents a collision between them. The surface of Pluto is extremely cold, so it seems unlikely that life could exist there. At such cold temperatures, water, which is vital for life as we know it, is essentially rock-like. Pluto's interior is warmer, however, and some think there could even be an ocean deep inside. When we think of water on a planet, our minds go to certain images, waves lapping at a sandy beach, a thundering waterfall, and meandering brook. You know, the familiar liquid sites here on Earth, where water is abundant on this surface. While our home planet is indeed the only known world to host liquid water on its surface, it's not the only place in the solar system where you can slap on a swimsuit and take a dip. And perhaps the most unlikely place to host an ocean of liquid water. Tiny little Pluto, a world not even as big as our moon, clinging to the frozen fringes of our solar system like an unwanted runt of the litter. Water, on Pluto. We have pictures of Pluto thanks to the historic New Horizons flyby in 2015. We saw many wondrous and mysterious things, nitrogen ice glaciers, water ice mountains, and a thin atmosphere. But we didn't see any water. So where is it? Pluto's ocean, like the rest of the liquid water in the solar system, is hidden, a secret buried under miles of rock hard ice. But if we can't see it, why do astronomers think it's there for one? Pluto has a healthy fraction of radioactive elements inside of it. These elements decay over time, releasing heat. Similar elements inside the Earth generate enough heat to turn rock into magma. So out there on the edge of the solar system, it's not a stretch to imagine the heat turning ice into water. Second, the nitrogen glaciers. The surface of Pluto has a giant gaping wound called the Sputnik Planitia, home to a network of slow-moving interlocking glaciers. Something is keeping those glaciers churning, and the likely culprit is heat escaping the core the same heat that might liquefy water deeper down. And our best guess as to how it formed in the first place. Astronomers suspect something large smashed into Pluto long ago, causing water to gush out and seep over the surface, a lesion that never quite healed. But if it had a liquid water ocean that was slowly cooling, 
but not yet completely frozen. The expansion of that water as it turned to ice would pop and crack the crust, causing the features that we see. It's not a slam dunk case. We're not as confident about water inside Pluto as we are on, say, Europa or Enceladus. But it's an intriguing set of clues that point to an ocean completely encircling the little world to a depth of over 100 miles. In other words, more liquid water than the Earth has. So on the next mission to Pluto, you better pack the scuba gear. The investigations have discovered that Jupiter has a strong stabilizing influence on Pluto's orbit. On the other hand, Uranus has a largely destabilizing effect. They conclude by stating that overall, Pluto's orbit is surprisingly close to a zone of strong chaos. Let us know your views on Pluto in comments below. If you like the video please share the same with astronomy lovers and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.